yeah hello guys you are highly welcome to another amazing tutorial on nobuti fashion channel on today's video i'll be taking you through the process of uh, how you can uh, cut this uh, senator style and then how you can as well uh, stitch it so i make use of a simplest uh, method i simplify the process so that it will be very easy for everyone to understand so without any further delay let's get started so the first thing you have to do is to cut the pattern on the front this is a pattern that we have on the on the front and this is a how we are going to do that i've already cut the pattern with a material like this but i will use another material to show you how to how to do that now you measure measure the down part of the of the material of the dress like this so and it's giving me a 12.5 so you add a one inch to it so giving me 13.5 inches so the wideness of this uh, pattern that i'm to cut on the front now will be 13.5 inches so you take another material which you want to use uh, for the front pattern so the exact material whatever the material you want to use for the front pattern you take it and you double fold it like this and then you lay it well so you measure 13.5 and the pattern at the part you measure 13.5 as well so that is the wideness of this uh, the front uh, layer we have on the dress so you lay the material that is the dress itself which we have already cut out you lay it on the on the material again and then you leave like one inch on the front make sure that the the dress occupy the old places and then you leave like a one inch on the front as a as an excess so you lay it well like this then you do what you trim it out you do the trimming so when you get to this uh, neckline now when you trim it and you, you notch this uh, neckline on this uh, neckline you notch it and then you continue the the cutting so please if this is the first time you are checking on this channel you are highly welcome to nobility fashion channel this is the channel that brings you the easiest fastest and then simplest method on how to draft cut or sew anything on a men's dress please do where to click on the subscribe button so that you will have access to over 100 videos on this uh, channel and then please once you have already cut out the dress like this you notch whatever the wideness you have on the on the upper part which you have already notched before you notch it at the damp part as well you notch it at the damp part as well so that will give you the guide of a where to uh, where we are to where we are to food so now you have to separate the the dress now you have to separate the material so the that front now you have to you have to cut it and then you open it but i'm not uh, doing that yet so now i've already done the ironing so and this is how it will look on the exact uh, material that i'm using for this uh, illustration it's because i'm not using uh, that material for the illustration i just use it to show you how to cut the front layer so you separate the two like this and then you do what you weave the side like this if you are not having a if you are not having a factory weaving edge at the at the edge so you do what you do the weaving so after you have done this then you do what the next thing to do now is to cut the front uh, facing which we have on the on the dress you lay the material on the dress again like this and this is what we are to cut now so this is what we are to cut now this is a wine area the wine pattern on the front that is for the facing that is what we are to cut now and i'm using this a uh, green material for for that i'm using this a uh, green material for for that so you lay the material like this then you measure the wideness of the of this neck of this uh, facing you measure it on the this is another one this uh, uh, wideness now so you measure it on the on the dress so now you take the tape pro and then you you do what you measure it so you leave like you add like a half inch to whatever the measurements you have to make it overlap on the facing so the the wideness of this space itself is a uh, two inches but i'm adding another extra half inch to it so making a making a making 2.5 and then the length of this uh, plaquette now that we use is a is a 11 inches so you measure 11 inches here 
and from the neckline like this it will give me a 14 inches so it will give me 14 inches so that is a the, the on this down part is a 11 the wideness will be 2.5 why the length will be 14 inches so that is what we are to cut for the for the facing so you first trim out the excess you have make it straight so once you make it straight then you fold it you double fold it and you cut out at a 11 i mean 14 inches by 2.5 so make the wideness to be 2.5 and then the length to be 14 inches so after you've done this then the next thing you have to do you have to apply st on it you have to apply st on it and to get the the center so you cut it out like this and then you do what you measure the length which will be 14 inches so the length is a uh, 14 inches so i have 14 inches here so but i'm increasing it here to be 14.5 to be 14.5 so you can make it a 14.5 so once you do this then you do what you apply st on it and this is it after i've applied st on it so then the next thing to do now you have to high on the facing and making each one to be facing it a separate way So once you are through with this, the next thing you have to do now is to cut this. This is a small pattern we have at the damp part here, but at this this one is show very well. But I'm using this a second one. I'm following this a second pattern here. So you take a carton like this. You get a carton, or if you don't have a carton, you can as well use a color stay to draw out the pattern on the to form out the pattern first before you finally cut it on the on the stay so you first measure two inches measure two inches and then you roll it straight down roll two inches uh, straight down and then the next thing you have to do you have to straight the edge cut it uh, roll it uh, like this and then you apply the length which is a uh, 1.7 measure 1.7 measure 1.7 and again you also measure 0.7 measure 0.7 after you do this then you measure the one you measure 0.5 you also measure 0.5 then you do what you rule these uh, lines you rule all the lines we have here now you rule this place rule this place as well rule this place also please make sure you follow the process so that we not miss any part of the of the training so from this a uh, second line now you apply the length which is a uh, 1.7 apply the length which is a uh, 1.7 then you do what you rule it straight as well really straight as well so once you do this then you have to now to form the pattern on this paper you have to form the pattern on this paper you give it a slant like this once you rule it then you measure 0 0.5 from that point you measure 0 0.5 and then you do what you rule it uh, straight rule 0 0.5 straight down and then you give it a slant shape you give it a slant shape like this so you, instead of making it a uh, straight you give it a little sp shape make it slant a bit and then from this place you measure 0 0.3 measure 0 0.3 and that the damp part as well you get the straight line you get the straight uh, line straight here like this and then you do what you you get the center of this place so whatever we have here now you measure it at the damp part also so that we have so it's 
get the straight line so you get the center of this place now once you get the center like this then the next thing you have to do now you have to give it a v shape you have to give it a v shape like this and when you get to this point you stop and then you do what you cuff it like this you cuff it like this and voila that is all that is it on how to create a, this uh, pattern so let's cut it out now and see the and see the results so please follow the process of uh, this pattern uh, cutting and then you can replicate it on the on this on the stay you can replicate it on the stay so the stay you have to use for the damp part it should be color stay it should be color stay so that you'll be able to trace all the all the pattern out easily so make sure that you follow the process to the end so that you don't miss any part of the of the training so now this is it after i've already cut out the the pattern then you do what you trace out the pattern on the on the stay you trace out the pattern on the on the stay so you roll it straight like this and then once you are done with the rolling then you do what you trim out the pattern as it is on the stay then you apply it on the material you are using for the for the facing that is for the under for the facing so you apply it on it like this and that is it so once you do this the next thing to do is to form the center is to get the center of this uh, facing we have already cut uh, before and after you do this you have to prepare the plaquette you have to prepare the plaquette i've already prepared this uh, plaquette please if you want to know how to prepare this type of a plaquette make sure you check the link to the video in the description uh, box below i recommend this a uh, plaquette for you so that at least if you learn this plaquette it will make your work to lay perfectly well the plaquette will lay perfectly well without having any squeeze by the side of the plaquette so this is uh, i just released a video on how to make uh, this a uh, plaquette do where to check it out and then learn from the video as well so now you lay the front like this and then you place the facing on it place the facing on it let the facing get to the upper part of the dress and then you will do what you apply office pin to the to hold the material together once you apply the office pin then you have to stitch the material on it all through so this is it now after i've already done the stitches so please take a look good look at uh, how i do my stitches here i trace out the neck and then i stitch the tip the edge of the facing all round as well so you do the ironing and then you do what you trim out the neckline you trace out the neckline and then you do what you get the center of the of the dress you get the center and then you fold it a bit like this like a zero point uh, zero point uh, seven like a zero point uh, seven you fold it like this and then you form it straight down so if you have been a part of this a uh, noble family before i believe you have known how we prepare our plaquettes so that's it you have known how we prepare this uh, plaquette so this will not give you a little a, a confusion at all so now after i have done this then you proceed to the sewing machine and then you stitch it this a uh, plaquette like this you stitch this plaquette like this
So once you are through with these plaquettes, so the next thing to do now is to stitch the facing, that is the pattern we cut out before. But I'm, I'm using another material to do the facing for that uh, pattern. So please make sure that uh, when you are stitching here, you are not stitching too close to the collar stay. So that when you finally do the turning, the damp part of this uh, facing will not be showing outside. The, that is the lining will not be showing outside. So then you do what? You trim out the excess we have by the side and then you follow the shape and then make sure that you do the notching take a very good look at how i notch all these uh, angles for you to have a perfect uh, result when you finally turn out the you finally turn out the the tree the, the, the stick so please make sure you follow it the way i do this uh, notching of all these uh, angles And then that is it after i've turned the the angles and i've ironed it out then i weave this uh, edge so this is it you can see how perfectly laid it is and then the lining is not as well showing uh, outside so now you lay the material like this and then you get the center of that uh, pattern the pieces we have here now you get the center of it so once you get the center then you just place it on the material straight away on the that is on the plaquette Get, place it on the center and as you can see we have a at least a little bit of half inch and on the both parts on both sides we have a excess of a half inch and that is where we use what where we use the front layer to do the facing again so now after you have done this then you, the next thing you have to do now is to stitch it down like this if you are using a if you have a access to the green thread just use it to pack it down like this so that the this thing now will not be flowing will not be raising up again so now the next thing you have to do after you have done this is to place the front layer on it so make sure you set all the edge is to place the front layer on it and make sure you set all the edge so once you set the edge and it's trying with the edge of this all this material then you can do what you can stitch it on the fringe like this you can just stitch it like this but i don't want to do that so this is one of the things that make your work to be different from others and then you leave people wonder where is the finishing how did you do the finishing so i'm doing the stitches from uh, inside yes i'm doing the stitches from inside so you use obvious pin to hold it from inside so let's do the same thing on the other side so they'll be able to see what i'm doing there clearly so you set all the edge here you set all the edge so once you set the edge then you do what you just open the dress like this and make sure that as you are opening it the dress is not a uh, shifting as you are opening it it's not a uh, shifting so use of this pin to hold it and once you do this then you have to stitch it on this uh, gator we have here to that point where the pattern uh, started so let's do that now so you have to follow that uh, gator now stitch it on the gator straight down to that point where we have a pattern where the pattern uh, ended and once you do this then you do the same thing on the second uh, side as well and once you are doing with, done with this then we proceed to the table and do the ironing and then you press all the necessary area and see how the results will be you can see that so let's do the same thing on the second side now so there's something that's very important here before you do the final closing so please make sure you watch the video to the end so that we know how to do the final closing of this uh, dress because you don't first close the side before you close the damp part so you want to get here you reinforce it and then you do what you open the dress like this you remove the office pin so once you remove the office pin then you do what you proceed to the table and do the final ironing so you can see that you can see how nice the result is without doing the stitches from the upper part so you first lay it at the back like this and then you iron it uh, thoroughly so once you iron it thoroughly from the back then you turn it to the front again and then you do the ironing as well
So once you iron the, the layer like this, the next thing to do is to fold the damp part of the dress. So you cut out the excess, whatever the excess you have on the dress like this, you cut it out and then you do what? You fold the inches, whatever the inches you want to use as the folding and the damp part, you fold it and then you iron it out. So it, it's either you do one of the two, either you apply hemming gum at the damp part or you do what? Or you stitch the damp part as well. So you do the folding or the stitches separately like this. After you do the stitches or the folding, then the next thing you have to do is to stitch the tip of the material round. So after you iron it like this, you do the folding and then you do the ironing. So you iron it out like this. Once you do the ironing, the next thing to do now is to stitch the side of the of the dress. Is to stitch the side of the dress. That is, to use the ma the machine to hold to stitch the side of the of the dress. Round like this. You stitch the damp part, the side like this. But I'm not going to do that so that the video will not be too too long. So that is the end of this uh, illustration. So please, if you derive any value in this video. Please help me give this video a thumbs up so that a lot of people will be able to benefit from this uh, video as well. And then please, if this is the first time you are checking on this channel, please help me hit the subscribe button so that whenever I drop an amazing video like this again, you'll be able to see such a video and you'll be able to learn from over 100 videos on this uh, channel. Till the next time that I'm bringing you another amazing tutorial on this uh, channel, I say thank you for watching and then remain blessed. Bye for now.